Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Omnis Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use our fully integrated environment, Omnis, in short videos of a few minutes. In this first video, I will show you a general overview of the Omnis interface and workflow. On the Omnis homepage, templates have been predefined according to your applications. For example, the Turbo template will be most helpful for turbo machinery meshing and solving, while the Open templates are directed toward low and high speed external aerodynamics. Additional templates can be created to fit your own applications. The powerful Omnis platform allows you to conduct all your work within one software, from the geometry import and modification to the post processing of your simulations. You can navigate through the different contexts using the bar at the bottom of the window. In the geometry context, you can import geometry files created outside Omnis in the CAT tree. Omnis supports a wide range of geometry file formats. You can also create simple geometries directly in Omnis using the Create button. More advanced CAT features are available through the Modify button. They will be the subject of future videos. The different views can be fully customized according to what you need and then saved for later projects. In this case, we can see a meridional view of the impeller blade on the bottom left and a 3D view of the impeller sector and volutes to be meshed on the bottom right. The domain context allows you to define the parts of the model you want to mesh. Connections between domains should also be defined in this context using the Connection Management button. In this case, we have a rudder stator connection shown in red, which is defined between the impeller passage and the volute. In the mesh context, you will impose the mesh settings for each geometry and setup. Several meshing techniques are available, including surface to volume and volume to surface approaches. These options allow you, for example, to generate an unstructured hybrid mesh for the volute and a structured mesh for the turbo machinery passage. Once the meshing is completed, you can visualize the surface or volume mesh in the 3D view. The mesh quality summary can be seen by clicking on the Show Mesh Quality button. In the simulation context, all the CFD settings are selected, from the flow solver, which can be density-based or pressure-based, to the boundary conditions of each patch. You can decide what level of control you want to have on the settings by switching between Essential, Standard and Advanced. The Advanced panels will unlock options such as the nonlinear harmonic method that Advanced users might want. Once the simulation is launched, the residuals will appear in the monitor. To analyze the flow field while the computation is running, you can activate the co-processing button. The last context, result analysis, is to post-process the simulations. Using the Create Probe menu, you can analyze and visualize the solution using several tools that will be discussed in later videos. This wraps up the overview of a powerful new platform, Omnis, and the navigation through the different contexts. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a great Tuesday.